What's up icons? So last week I took you through my brainstorming on Mr. Rich and plans on getting my men's wholesale clothing line started. Now this week I'm going to go through finding my inspiration and figuring out what it is that I want to design. So I'm going to look at trend reports. I'm going to do some shopping to see what's out there. I'm going to look at the runways to see what they're showing on the runways for fall. And then I'm going to start figuring out some key items of what it is that I want to sell. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. So I'm going to start with looking at the trends first. And as I'm doing all of this, so my shopping, my trend reports, runways, all of that, I'll start taking images and ideas that I'm going to pull together and create my mood board. That's why this board has been back here in the last video or probably the last few videos because normally I would use that to start pinning my ideas on. It's a cork board so I can just pin a bunch of ideas on there. But I may just do it all digital this time. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I pulled that out just in case I want to use that but let's start with the trend reports so I'm gonna start out by looking at the men's trend toolkit from my fall winter 2022 trends video that I did for you guys I'm gonna focus right on men's I'll put it on the screen too so that way you guys can see it as well if you didn't see that fall video but I just want to go through this trends toolkit to revisit the men's trends to see what's trending for men so I can start getting an idea of what it is that I want to do. So let me get to the page of the themes. Here we go, the big idea so I can see what's really trending. So for men's, there were six trends. I probably won't hit all six big ideas, but it's possible. So I want to look at all six again and see what really fits my brand and the image that I have for Mr. To rich so it looks like the varsity jackets are coming back in those like university colors I do remember that from when I was doing that video so a varsity jacket may be something that I want to do some of the other things that they list on here is like top coats which I did see a lot of that on the runways sorry yes I usually watch the runways as soon as they come out and then I go back and revisit when it's time for me to actually design so I did see a lot of top coats on there um they have the tip polo card again rugby shirt corduroy trousers so those are some of the items that I can keep in the back of my head I usually take notes too don't ask me why I'm not taking notes I probably should be so one of the things I want to take note on is the varsity jacket because that will be something that's coming back again next year that was in fall of last year so that's not like that's anything new let me split my screen so I can see both oh it's small now so we got the varsity jackets one that I want to take note of the top coat we'll do polo and again this is just for me to get ideas I'm going to put all of this on my mood board anyway especially the colors so I need to see that so I necessarily don't need to take notes but just in case so the work leisure that's what I was talking about in my last video where I was saying that's going to be a key theme for fall and winter of 2022 where men are combining like their work business casual clothing with their sportswear so they're calling it work leisure in the toolkit but that was what i was thinking of going with for my entire theme for my trends of men so this is a page that i really want to focus on but i don't know if i necessarily want to focus on those colors maybe because it kind of ties in with the whole look of nouveau rich color theme but we'll see and they have like the coach jacket on there i did see a lot of that on the runway The belted suit jacket. And there's a bunch. I'm not going to write these down because I'm pretty much going to come right back to this page and focus on that. This one also, I want to combine this offline lux with the work leisure. This is one I really want to go with because like that whole look is what men's of fall winter 2022 is going to be like. So I'm going to skip on taking notes. We'll come back to that because I want to do all my key items in the end. 
This is going more so with that first academia theme because the colors kind of fit together. You got the flannel. That maybe we'll see if that's something I want to work in. Right now I'm not sure but that does go with fall. This is the urban outdoors so this is very streetwear. That might be on the very end of my spectrum so maybe I'll do like one or two looks that way. We'll see. And then the last theme is the space race and this is very preppy so this is like on the other end because I'm trying to go middle and these last two themes are on the very tail end so we'll see if I need those but there is a page on here too so I don't have to take notes of the must-have items of the season we have the high pile fleece jacket we have the rugby shirt the utility shacket remember we talked about that in the last video the shacket is like a shirt jacket so it's not like a heavy jacket but it can be worn like a shirt to overlay a t-shirt or a sweater or anything like that we got the chunky cardigan the trousers the robe coat the straight leg jeans because men are going to our straight leg now and then the accessories the shoes and accessories which I don't think I'm gonna touch accessories for men just yet I'm gonna focus on the clothes kind of how I did women's started out with just clothing and then built it up so those are going to be my must-have items of the season so that's where I'm going to focus on so I'm just going to add that onto my mood board I'm not even gonna take notes on the items that I want to do this is going to be like my focus and then the next thing I want to go into is is the runway shows so now I'm gonna go into women's wear daily which I don't even have it on my iPad for some reason I always look at it on my phone but I want to do it on my iPad since I have it in front of me and we're gonna look at some of the men's runway shows and see what's on the runway so in the women's wear daily app you can go to men's you can go to fashion there's a bunch of articles on here that'll talk about you know what's going on in men's Oh, let's go to this article before I go to the runways because it's talking about what's selling in men's fashion. That's something I'll definitely need to know about. So we already know this whole look, the Essentials brand is big. And when I do my shopping, I'm definitely going to go to a lot of those brands. Essential, FOG, same company. I think they're same website too. Um, I'll go to the designer brands. I'll probably just go right on Saks website and look at a bunch of the designers. Thing with that is going on some of those websites right now. They're showing mainly, you know, they're showing mainly spring summer. So if I go shopping right now, I'll probably see mostly spring summer because it's that time of year to sell that right now. But that's why I like looking at the runways too because it gives me an idea of what's coming. But I still like to shop the stores to see like what sizes are selling, get an idea of specs that I want to use, what brands are selling more because I can see based off of the shelves what people are actually buying. So now that I got my phone out the way, let's keep going through to see what's selling for men's. And some of the stuff in here can actually be used for fall, winter too. It's not just spring, summer in this article. The other thing I do want to point out to you guys, when I do my shopping and trying to figure out what's selling and what's out there right now, I always look at shoes too. Shoes and accessories. Even though I'm not designing those, I still look at them to see what men are buying because I need to make clothes that'll pair with the shoes that they're actually shopping for. That's it on that article just showed a few pictures of what's selling see is there any other articles I want to look at before I go into the runways I don't think so okay so let's go into runway now where is my men's why are they not showing the men's collections on here yet they only have 2021 that's weird okay They were definitely on here because I've looked at some of them. They must have taken them down. So let's go to good old Google. Okay, so Vogue has them all. I don't know why Women's Wear Daily didn't. But let's see. Let's go to like Off-White first. Let's see what they have going on. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna look at the Louis Vuitton men's fashion show first because Vogue is making me sign up so I need to stop and create an account just to view the runway shows on there. Women's Wear Daily doesn't have them on there for some reason. So let's look at Louis Vuitton since they have theirs directly on their website. And it looks like they are doing a lot of black and white. Oh, there's some purple in there. You guys see the long trench coats on there with the uh, belts on it. That's one of the trends that you're going to see a lot on the runways. There's another one in brown. This one here, can I click the pictures? Oh, let me zoom in. Leather is going to be another key trend in 2022, fall, winter 2022. So you'll want to pay attention to leather. There's a lot of jackets with a bunch of pockets like this on there too. This color is so pretty. I've seen a lot going on here too, like with the jacquards. A lot of brands are doing that. Here's another one here. This one's a little more subtle because it looks more like denim. Now I know these styles and the whole looks, the way they style it might look crazy, but focus on the individual pieces that they're selling. For example, you see a, quite a few blazers in there, like I pointed out the jacquards that are in there and the long coats that are in here. Also the shoulders, pay attention to the shoulder details, that's a huge trend for fall winter 2022 as well. You'll see that in a lot of the runway shows also. You have the sets here that have the matching top and bottom, but they're doing a lot with shorts versus pants. We all know that men typically wear suits where the top of the jacket and the pants usually match, but you'll see a lot more with shorts. This color, I just feel like I gotta do something with that color. That color is so pretty. It looks so rich in that outfit and they have quite a bit of it on their runway. Jackets with the multiple pockets, the cargo pockets. You notice his belt even has the pockets on it. Here we go with the shoulders again. Here we go with the varsity jacket. So you notice how they still threw in some of their sportswear even though they had a lot of like blazers and stuff like that. Like their looks... For example, here are a little more dressy, but they still threw in a touch of sportswear. The vest, I saw that too as going to be a trend. And not just vests for like suiting, but like sweater vest. Um, denim vest, I saw one brand I think. But vests are going to be a good key item for fall winter 2022. So now let me see if I can get these other runway shows to show you guys some more. So I guess the runway shows and the women's wear daily app aren't there, but on their website they're in here. So let's see what they have here so I don't have to sign up. Oh, this color is pretty too. And it's more like a loungewear look, but that color is pretty. I'll come back to that runway. This jewel tone color is not... This jewel tone color is nice, but I'll probably do that more towards like holiday time. So later, closer to like November, December time. That's one thing too you guys will see once I actually start designing how I break down the delivery schedule. I'm just going to look at Versace since I'm here. So let's just look at Versace now. I wanted to look at Off-White, but once I find it on Women's Wear Daily, we'll go there. So they have a leather jacket and their look. Suiting, of course. Here we go with the trench coat. The key with the trench coats that's supposed to be, you know, the key detail, the trending detail for fall winter 2022 is that they're double breasted. That orange is pretty as well. They went more bright with their colors. This one's more like a bomber jacket. So instead of a varsity jacket, they have a bomber jacket in theirs. And they paired the bomber jacket with his suit. So it looks like I'm not the only one that's feeling this way of, of combining like your business casual, your business wear, your work attire with your street wear. That seems like it's going to be across the board. So that makes me feel good. I feel like I'm on the right track. That jacket's nice too. 
And here we go with the knit sweaters. So we talked about cardigans, the chunky sweaters. That purple seems to be on everyone's runway as well. Can't believe men are wearing purple like this. That one is like a blazer jacket. So it's a full length jacket, but it looks more like a blazer. It doesn't look as heavy as like a trench coat. More sweaters, pants. Okay, Versace went with a lot of bright colors. I'm not so surprised. Let's look up here. So I definitely was going on their website to see what they're selling right now. So let's see what they have on the runway. Now browns and nudes, these are like my kind of colors. So I'm excited for this look here for their actual collection because it looks like it's along the category of the colors that I want to do. This sweater here is really nice. And you see he has it paired with a button up underneath. The navy is nice too. Oh, that scarf is cute underneath. Oh, that's a female. But that scarf is cute underneath. I guess they have some women on the men's runway. Or did women... No, that is men's. This look is cute too. They have that same print on the pants. Looks like they're doing a lot with like the furry, fuzzy fabrics. This jacket's nice too. Here we go with the jacquards. Oh, he has on leather pants too, another one of the trends. Looks like this is a varsity jacket, but it looks like it has leather inserts at the shoulder. He has some polka dot pants. Oh, this color theme was cute. That color combination was nice. Okay, this is one that I'll definitely keep open because I'll refer back to that one for inspiration when I'm doing my mood board. Let's go to Hermes. Oh, I like this jacket. So there is some of the fuzzy fabric still coming back. They use it as a lining. He has the puffer vest still on here. I like the inserts right there. The chunky sweaters. There's a puffer coat there. I was wondering if anyone was going to show the puffer. Shirling. And then here we go with suiting. Here's the double breasted like I was telling you guys about. That's like a key detail for men's this fall winter. Here's an anorak. That was like a spring trend that's also you're going to see in fall. It'll transition over. He looks like Inspector Gadget. He has on a full leather outfit. Try to speed this up a bit so you guys don't sit here and watch me because I will literally do this all night. Oh, I like this sweater. Mm. Okay, let's see who else. I'll do one more on camera so you guys can see. Now, I'm doing the main brands that you guys mostly would know about. But when I do my inspiration, I actually like going to brands that I don't know or may not be as popular. So let's 
try to go to this brand. This one looks like it's going to be more like business attire or even business casual because remember I'm trying to blend the two. So let's see what's on here on their runway. Plus the coloring looks like it's going to be my type of colors. That's my type of style. It's a simple, oh this is cute. Now this color combination is cute. I have these coming for the ladies. This sweater is nice too. So yeah, this is more business casual. So this is a good brand for me to reference to to get more of the business look. You notice he kind of looks a little dressed up, so business casual, but he has a hoodie on. And then under his hoodie is a button-up. It looks like it's a pinstripe button-up. Oh, this olive is cute too. I like that shade. Oh, this jacket's nice. So I'm going to keep going through some of these runways because I have a lot to go through. What I'm going to do is start pulling images off here of like key items that I want to do. Some of the colors too because like I said I love this olive so that's one of the colors. I saw a lot of the purple so I can throw in the purple as well. I'll probably only do maybe one, two looks in that shade because I got to see how well that's going to sell. Just because it's on the runway doesn't mean that I can sell it. So I'm going to go through this and then the next thing we're going to do is actually shop the brands to see what's actually selling for them right now. So let me have a little fun with going through the runways. If you guys want to go through more runways, I'll link the Women's Wear Daily website, this exact link that I have, so you can go on there and look at the runway show. So now that I've gone through some of the runway shows, let me go on some of their websites to see what they have selling right now. So I'm going to start with Ameri since I like their runway a lot and I know they're a popular brand right now. A lot of guys are buying their clothing so let's see what they have in store right now we'll go straight to menswear now they're known for their jeans but men wear their entire collection and as you can see based off of their price point they're a little higher of a price point than where I'm selling at I haven't even told you guys my price point for men's yet but my men's is definitely going to be a little higher of a price point than my women's clothing just because I want to do better clothing for men's which I'm not saying my women's clothing is bad better is an actual category when it comes to clothing pricing so I want to do better clothing for men's but it won't be as expensive as like a Mary. This print here is cute because it's subtle, but still has, you know, a print there. Some of Ameri's stuff can be like way out there and not everyone can pull it off. This hoodie is cute. But then at the same time, they have some basics like that. And then I think we saw the hoodies already. Oh, they have a double-breasted blazer right there. These shorts are cute too. Yeah, I know I saw their basics already. I scrolled past it. I'm sure we'll see it again. Oh, I like this color too of those shorts. Okay, here's more like their basics. It's just a pullover crew neck with their name on it. Those That color combination is nice, but I don't think that's something I could sell. Here's more of like their basics. They already have the tapestry, the jacquards on there. So 
So they actually have some fall stuff on here already because like this is definitely like given fall. Let's go to like FOG for the basics now. And their stuff usually gives off more of, I'll go to essentials first, of the fall, winter anyway. I wanted to shop all. So theirs is more of the basics, the hoodies, the t-shirts, sweatpants. And this color scheme is more of like what I was saying that I like. The neutrals, the nudes, the browns. This is more of my look. But this is, oh this is cute to do. The polo. But this hair is really easy to do something basic. It's just a matter of finding the right fabrics. And one of the things with the men's fabric is they want premium fabrics. They don't want the basic hoodie fabrics. They want a premium fleece. You guys have heard me say that in my previous trends videos. They want a premium fleece. So that's going to be the key focus when doing these basics is finding the right fabric. They have the whole windbreaker trend going on here. And then they have the basics without their name directly on the front. They have the polar fleece on there. Here's a vest. So this is going towards like those fall colors too. And the fall items. I mean, this is definitely fall, winter. So I won't bore you too much with their basics. Let's go to Fear of God. Where is men? And this is their Fear of God brand. So now you have items that are more dressed up. They have a lot of the double breasted on here. These are cute. This sweater is cute as well. But see how basic their looks are? I mean, I like them. I just don't want to do the same thing because I feel like it's already out there. Then again, if I'm at a lower price point, it makes it easier to do something similar to this at a lower price point. They have the puffer on there. Denim jackets. Okay, just really quickly for this video, since I did three runways, I'll do three stores. I'm just going to go to Saks, and I'm just going to see, like, the new arrivals for men's as far as designer, what's selling right now. Just to give me an idea of what's in store right now and what's selling. And it's a lot of the same stuff we've seen. One moment, this is why I don't record during the day because I usually get interrupted multiple times. <sighs> I'm out of breath. But now that I got that out the way, let me get back to this. So like I was saying, a lot of these brands are starting to look the same. That's why I get so bored with men's. Because this looks just like the Essentials hoodie we were looking at, but that one's Balenciaga. This jacket is nice. And already I'm starting to get bored with men's. Of course, I'm going to keep shopping all of these and I'll go through some of the other brands. Sometimes it's easier to go directly to the brand's website versus shopping these stores like Saks Online with a blend of stuff. Just so that way I can focus on the brands that are more like what I'm trying to do that I'm inspired by. So I'm going to go through some of those. I'll start pulling a lot of my inspiration. You guys will see it once I put together the mood board. So now for the next thing that I'm going to do is try to 
find more inspiration like my inspiration just never ends I'm always looking for more and more inspiration on what to do so the next thing I like to do is like people watch street watch whatever you want to call it social media watch because that's where most of it's done at and I just go through social media and see what the guys are wearing on there um normally if the weather wasn't as bad as it is right now I would be out and seeing what people are wearing right now going places to see what people are wearing right now I'm also supposed to be going to the mall so that way I can do the shopping in person but the way this weather is I don't know if I feel like going right now you guys probably won't see that until next week's video but right now I'm going on social media so that way I can see what are guys wearing on social media right now and how they're styling it so all I did was go on Instagram and type in men's fashion you can look at the tags I'm not going to go to the tags I'm just gonna go to top and I'm gonna see what's there and they'll have posts on there there's reels on there like this one right here is showing me a reel which let me turn the volume down so Instagram doesn't try to come after me for the music but like you have his reel where he's styling different outfits so it's giving me an idea of what guys are wearing and his is actually more on the fall look anyway so that was perfect his suit is nice Oh, that's not just fashion though. Normally I just sit on my couch watching TV and scrolling through this to see what people are wearing. But since I'm already sitting at my desk, I'm going to do this right now. And I'll literally do this like every day. When I'm on social media, this is what I'm doing. I don't really pay attention to anything else. I'm looking for ideas, business-wise, inspiration, photo shoot ideas, stuff like that. Oh, well, this looks like a fall one because he has a puffer on. This look is cute <laughs> with the socks. And I can go on some of these pages too because this is like a blog for men's fashion. It's like I'll do that too. And normally, like when I'm looking for my inspiration, I'll be sitting here screenshotting a bunch of stuff. My phone is filled with screenshots. Let's see what he's wearing. This jacket that looks like Zara. Oh, that's a brand I didn't go look at to see what Zara Men's has. I gotta go check Zara. Let me write it down before I forget. Because I was looking at all the designers when I was showing you guys. But I look at the lower end too. So I look at Zara, H&M, Forever 21, Fashion Nova, Men's. I'm going to see what the lower end brands are selling as well. I feel like I'm looking at the same guy over and over again. Is there anybody else on this page? Yeah, like I've seen that post already. This is also useful too when it comes to doing my photo shoot to give me an idea of what kind of photo shoots I want to do for men's. Like, all these pictures are the same. Like, how many times are we gonna see this picture of this man looking like he's falling? Oh, there's different accounts posting the same pictures. Like, I need something else, not the same people. That green was nice. Oh, here's the olive again.
Normally I find better stuff than this. I'm so like underwhelmed with what they're showing on here. These posts, it's the same posts over and over again. This jacket is really nice. Okay, I'm bored. Let's go to shop products and see what products are on there. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fake designer stuff. I'll go to the tags really quick. Here's a vest. My attention span is so short when it comes to stuff like this. This is why I do this while watching TV. Because it's hard to focus on this. And I'm not really seeing anything that's catching my eye. Let's go to the recent post. See if there's anything else. It's not all the same people. Instagram's got to do better with their algorithm. I'm tired of seeing the same accounts all the time. Yeah, the recent is not there. Oh, you're taking too long. What are they wearing? Okay, they're wearing fashion overlooks. So let's see. It's taking them so long to change. <laughs> I have no patience. <laughs> like, you gotta be quick for me. My attention span is way too short. <laughs> Let's see, what is he wearing? 
No, it's just the same outfit. Okay, what is he wearing? Streetwear. Yeah, no. Okay, okay, let's see what else is there. There's the one guy that I see on TikTok that I think he was posted on the shade room recently too. He does a lot of men's stuff and I watch his stuff. I don't see him in any of these tags though, I'm surprised. But that is one that I usually go to for ideas because he's good at styling his outfits. I'm just not seeing him on here and I can't think of the name of his account right now. I don't feel like going to look. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to leave the street watching, people watching, all that stuff alone for right now just because... Oh shit. I think I just deleted my screen record and I was recording everything I was looking at for you guys. And I forgot to stop it before. No. Well, so much for that. I'll probably go back and record some footage for you guys so you can see. But now you can't see what it was that I was talking about. Dang it. Oh, I'm annoyed about that. That was such a waste. Now you guys can't even see. What's the point? You're just seeing, watching me talk about what I'm seeing. You can't see what I was actually seeing. Okay, whatever. Now I'm at the point where... My attention span is getting short, especially when it comes to men. I told you guys I think men's is so boring. I'm supposed to be looking at the men's shoes right now to see what shoes are out there. But I'm just going to go to men and ask them what sneakers are they buying right now because I'm not about to research it. I'm just going to have everybody tell me what shoes are men wearing right now so I know. I mean, I kind of got an idea just looking on Instagram. I saw some sneakers and then some of the websites seeing what kind of sneakers. But we'll do that another time. And I got to do my shopping another time too because I'm not going out in that weather just not happening today I'll do that next week so now I'm going to go off camera because I'm probably actually gonna do that later I have some other work I need to do but I'm gonna go off camera and start saving all the pictures of my inspiration so all those runway shows that I was looking at that I said I was inspired by some of those pieces the websites of the brands that I've been shopping on save those pictures I gotta go on Pinterest too I actually already started screenshotting some stuff off Pinterest which is why I didn't show you guys Pinterest on here but that's usually another place I go to for inspiration. Instagram I didn't really see anything on there today but I think I have some screenshots from Instagram from other days that I've been on there and then I'm gonna start pulling together a mood board and you guys might have seen my video where I did my vision board video so if I do it digital it's gonna be that same way of that vision board that I did so that way I can have it digital I'm just gonna do a full screen of inspiration on there. I don't think I'm gonna bother printing stuff out and putting it on the corner board I don't feel like doing that today I'll definitely be putting my designs on there though so you guys will see that once I get to the designing but for right now the mood board I'm just gonna do digital and once I pull that together I'll come back and show you guys so I pulled together a mood board that I can use for some inspiration in the top left corner I have all the basics so that will be my reminder of basics that I want to do you know a hoodie pullover sweatpants shorts and then a jacket then next to it I have a few other styles that I really liked and I wanted to be sure I do something along those lines to fit into the collection and then towards like the middle of the mood board I have a bunch of different looks from the runways so that way I can remember as I'm designing what I saw on the runway I've pointed these looks out to you guys so you've seen most of these a couple of these I got from some other runways that I looked at without you guys and then at the bottom I have those must have items for the season and then I put the colors in there too so I can remember what colors to play with at least the colors that I want to play with so I kept the mood board simple I kept it clean because the whole look that I'm gonna go for is going to be pretty much clean neutral and then I'm going to throw in a touch of those bright colors that I really like to mix in there but this is a starter for me to get some ideas going so that I can start designing designing my men's clothing it 
it might not even end up looking anything like this mood board at all but this is just a start for me to get going oh and the one thing i did want to say too you know how i was looking at the runways and i was talking about how i saw some women i even put her on here when i was like oh that's a girl i talked about that in one of my trends videos where i talked about one of the like next best things that's coming up in the fashion industry now is unisex clothing so that's why a lot of these runways had women on their runway for the men's collections because these are unisex items that both men and women can wear if you go on women's wear daily and you look at more of the runways you'll see there's more runways on there that have women in the men's collections but i think that's all i wanted to talk about in this video i need to wrap this up so that i can go to bed but i at least have a starter you know i have the colors on here i have some key items on here i didn't put the fabrics on here which i normally would do but i can at least see them in the items like i can see that there's leather i have the fleece the sweater knits and you know i have an idea of what it is i need to do and i can play from there i also have notes that i did take that i can reference as well but this is just a starter point for me so that way i can move on to start designing my men's wholesale clothing collection thank you guys for watching